Hello everybody! What has happened in the recent days? Well, first of all, a rather large earthquake, 3 in magnitude, struck around Askja, which is interesting. The earthquake activity around Mount Kaelir has been decreasing in the recent days. What could that mean? Another surprising earthquake from a volcanic area that people don't talk about very often, possibly adding a new volcano on the watch list. A well-respected volcanologist, Thorvaldur, said that despite the decreasing earthquake activity around Mount Kaelir, we should not rule out that magma could be finding its way up there. We'll just have to wait and get more data to get definitive answers. Talking about data, let's review some of it in the data and detail section. Let's first take a look at the earthquake under Mount Askja. A 3 in magnitude, which is maybe not that large, it still makes it the largest earthquake in that area since the turn of this century. You've probably heard the news already, but land is rising under Askja at quite a rapid pace, or on 5 centimeters or more a month. It's pretty obvious that magma is building up in the chamber under Askja. We can't say for sure if it will erupt in the next couple of months, or if it will take some years. There is no fixed time frame from when we detect magma intrusion to an eruption. We just have to watch closely. But what is going on around Mount Kaelir and Fardarfjall? Well, although the earthquakes have decreased, there is still plenty of them. By looking at the earthquake map, we can see that they are moving. This is a 9 day span of the area. Red is the most recent, whereas blue are the oldest. By looking at this, you can see that the earthquakes have shifted southwest, which is the direction to Keltingadal eruption. This is looking very much like magma, but just in a small quantity and deep underground. The earthquake activity around the Keltingadal eruption is non existent, but a few days ago we saw the tremors chart rise suddenly, which was exciting. Now it has dropped again, but it could pick up again at any time, and we can not call it off just yet. Moving on to the mystery earthquake. Located around 100 km from Reykjavik are the roots of the Snæfellsnes mountain range, and is here where the earthquake originated. This area is an active volcanic system, and has erupted 23 times in the last 10,000 years, with the last eruption being 1100 years ago. The earthquake activity there has been unusual, since seeing earthquakes there is very rare, and with over 20 earthquakes in the area in the recent months, it's definitely a place to keep an eye on. Since the last upload, not much has changed, and our view on the situation is pretty much the same. The possibility of Geldingadalir coming back to life is still likely, and as long as the earthquake activity continues under Mount Kaelir, we can expect to either get a large earthquake or maybe another eruption site. So until more data comes in, we can just sit and wait, looking at tremor charts and earthquake maps. If you made it here, that's awesome. I just want to thank you for tuning in, and I hope to see most of you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.